Chinese Super Soko refreshes its entire lineup for the 2021 model year and brings an all-new outdoorsy version of the TS commuter bike labeled Street Hunter. The revised headlight design and rear light cluster are clearly influenced by the Yamaha MT-07. This is the most powerful bike from the brand to date, but in Soko's case, this means just three horsepower generated by the rear wheel hub motor. The torque parameter at the wheel is somewhat livelier and reaches 133 pound-feet, while the top speed is capped at 46 miles per hour. The TS Street Hunter can be equipped with two removable batteries that store enough juice for 120 miles of riding. The Street Hunter is not the only model that received updates for the 2021 model year. The Super Soko TC Wanderer got a redesigned exterior and tech updates identical to the Street Hunter. Just like its predecessor, TC Wanderer has the recognizable retro cafe racer features. It received new rounded dual beam LED headlights, a semi-digital instrument console update, and a small fly screen. Now it'll be offered in four color variations. The story of the Goa native startup Kabira Mobility began back in 2017, but until this year, the company's production efforts were mostly focused on scooters. In 2021, Kabira brings to the market two highway-capable motorcycle models that run on electric power. Both get IP67 waterproof hub motors from Delta EV, 4.4 kilowatt hour battery packs and three ride modes that impact the maximum range. In case of the KM3000, the system's peak output reaches 8 horses and 62 miles per hour, while the KM4000 raises the bar to 11 HPs and 75 miles per hour. Both models get advanced smart dashboard with Bluetooth connectivity and keyless start, plus there is a full LED lighting for the KM4000. Back in the day, Saunders managed to satisfy the market demand for the affordable yet high-quality electric bicycles. But in 2021, the time has come for a new challenge. The next chapter in the Saunders story will be an attempt to revolutionize the class of electric motorcycles with a low-cost model capable of highway riding. The Metacycle has gorgeous hollow aluminum frame design and a retro-inspired halo headlight. The rear hub motor generates up to 19 horsepower at the peak, so don't be surprised to notice 80 mile per hour on speedometer. The new commuting tool by Storm Sanders can cover an 80-mile ride, weighs 200 pounds, and possesses some worthy components like vibrate brakes, a wireless charger, and a smart screen. At the moment, the company is accepting pre-orders for MetaCycle with the class leading price of $5,000. During the reservation, you can choose between three motorcycle color variations and leave a $999 deposit. Although modern range of Monday motorbikes primarily consists of moped-inspired bicycles with elongated seats, the company used a different approach to designing Gen 7 motorbike. The engineers made sure that the model to be powerful enough to make you forget about the need to pedal. This urban transportation vehicle is powered by a 2.25 kilowatt hour removable battery and a 750 watt brushless motor. The power is unleashed by means of a twist throttle. By pushing just one button, you can switch between two performance modes, economy that allows for up to 100 miles of riding on charge, or sport that has a maximum speed of 45 miles per hour off-road. Moreover, Gen 7 has a sophisticated LED headlight with high and low beams, LCD dash, and hydraulic disc brakes, recuperating the kinetic energy to charge your battery on the go. Developed by the Swedish-American company Rambler Motors, the Air is the new entry-level model in the brand's range. 
The bike was designed for everyday commuting while also offering enough power and range for fun weekend trips. Powered by a 1000 watt electric motor, the Air can be ridden in throttle or pedal assist modes, developing a maximum speed of 30 miles per hour. It gets single and dual battery options and can carry you for 38 to 75 miles on throttle alone. The bike is built on an all aluminum frame fitted with a front fork suspension and it is equipped with Tektro brakes and a wireless charger for your phone. Recently the model received two new performance modifications named Air SS and Air SST. Although Rumble Air SS is still equipped with a set of pedals, it has specifications of a fully fledged motorbike. Being powered by a 5000 watt rear hub motor, it can easily reach the top speed of 65 miles per hour. The pedal free riding is said to be close to 100 miles. The hydraulic regenerative brake system is also there to catch some of the energy and recharge the 72 volt 50 amp hour battery on the go. Finally, the Air SST model is a modification for those who enjoy the looks of old style cafe racers. It has the same specifications as the Air SS model, but a completely reworked exterior design with cafe racer handlebars, custom powder coated finishes, custom laser cut cover panels, and much more. India's first performance-oriented electric motorcycle is displayed steady R&D progress and the company has already posted a video with the road testing footage. The ultraviolet F77 has a powerful sports design with three striking paint schemes, lightning, shadow and laser. Its 34 horsepower air-cooled motor delivers 332 pound-feet of torque to the wheel, which translates to zippy 3 seconds 0 to 37 miles per hour acceleration. The range is getting close to 90 miles on a charge, but the modular battery pack can be easily swapped. A USD fork suspends the front, and a preload adjustable shock absorber cushions the ride in the rear. Last year, Ultraviolet prides itself for the superior connectivity of the bike and a smart user interface with a bright TFT display. Vamel is a historic motorcycle brand from Portugal that is trying to make a market comeback with an introduction of an all-electric modification of their classic bike model. Unlike its predecessor, the new electric EXF will help lower the emissions in the cities and provide more options to the fans of classic cafe racer motorbikes. The designers of the bike try to embrace the heritage of the past and keep most of the visual elements close to the original while the powertrain, front and rear disc brakes, have been significantly upgraded or completely replaced. Now this model is brought to motion by means of a hub motor with the peak output of 5 kilowatts. The top speed is expected to be around 40 miles per hour, so the EXF could make a great city commuting vehicle. The installed 72 volt 40 amp per hour battery system is capable of providing the range of up to 40 miles. The complete recharging cycle is said to last for about 4 hours. Right now, the company is accepting pre-orders for this model and expecting to start delivering production spec models in 2022, with the estimated price tag of 4,000 euros. The success of Surron Super Soko on the American and European markets has prompted other Asian electric motorcycle manufacturers to seek global expansion opportunities with their good value e-motor bike offerings. ER10 Bike was produced by a company that's planning to replicate the success of the aforementioned brands. Their street motorcycle will start its European sales with such specifications, 6 kilowatt liquid cooled motor with performance equivalent to 125cc class, a 62 mile per hour top speed and a 60 volt and 70 amp hour battery pack. With a capacity of 4200 watt hours, the estimated range is said to be 75 miles in eco mode. The performance mode that lets the motor reach peak output of 14 kilowatt will drain the battery much faster. ER10 has received a plentiful technological package that lets it handle well and stop fast, including disc brakes with dual channel ABS, a pair of front telescopic forks, and a mono shock absorber with adjustable preload linkage. Although the $5,000 price seems to be sweet spot for those who want to get a new electric motorbike, there are several noteworthy models that slightly exceed this price point. Let's check them out too.
This Texas-based startup specializes exclusively in developing all-terrain capable electric vehicles, either with two or four wheels. Their first model is a rugged motorcycle that rides on two huge chunky tires, offers 12 inches of ground clearance, comes with a premium off-road suspension. The Grunt gets an IP67 waterproof electric motor that peaks at 50 horses, 75 pound-feet and comes paired with a swappable battery pack good for up to 100 miles. The bike offers three riding modes, speeds to 60 miles per hour and takes six seconds to accelerate to this maximum velocity. Frustrated by the fact that most electric mopeds were simply uninspiring copies of their gas siblings, the trio of founders of the New Zealand-based FTN Motion decided to create a better product. This happened back in 2015, and now the company is officially launching the bike to the market in late 2021. The e-motorcycle has a minimalistic look with a long seat, long position handlebars, and of course, a distinctive single headlamp. Plus, a Fox tank flips up providing an easy access to 30-liter compartment. The powertrain consists of a 4 horsepower hub motor and removable battery sufficient for 62 miles of range. This joint project of the Ukrainian companies Gion and Emgo technology has been under the development for the last three years and after two prototypes, it is ready for pre-orders. The model borrows styling cues from one of Gion's gas-powered two-wheelers and features traditional scrambler bodywork with a highly visible tubular frame, a rounded LED headlamp, and standard all-terrain tires. Its powertrain is represented by a 21.5 horsepower electric motor that is wired to 8.8 kilowatt hour battery pack with LG cells. The manufacturer claims more than 90 miles on a single charge and the top speed is 75 miles per hour. There's also a four-speed transmission that works similarly to a regular gearbox and offers better control over the power delivery. Participate in the conversation below the video and mention your favorite electric vehicle from today's lineup. Like this video to support the electric revolution and subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss the latest EV news. Check out the suggested episodes on the screen and we'll see you later.